Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Okay, so check this out. I'm at Big Daddy Guns right now. I am actually going to do a radio spot. Been hanging out with my buddy, Justin James, there he goes. He's back in the veil right now. He's gonna hang out with me while we go check, while we go do this radio thing. The really crazy thing about all of that is we're going in Jesse's car. Cause I want you guys to see Jesse's, I, is it even a car, dude? I guess it's a car, it's more of a monster or a machine. Yeah, is it a monster truck? No, it's... Is it a, you know, sometimes it looks like a Civic to me. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, it's weird, it's weird, it's really weird and you guys it's are like... It's his own vehicle. Yeah. It's, it's very unique. It's, it's in its own classification. Yeah, you don't see a lot of these. And yes, I'm stalling because I want to do the big reveal. Check this thing out. Boom, look at that. Now that's a car. That's a car right there. The Rally Fighter. Jesse, what can you tell us about this really quick? Man? It's a 2012 Gen 1 uh, Local Motors Rally Fighter. Okay. It's uh, fully optioned. It's number eight. And it was in the movies. Yes, right? in the movies in Transformers movie. Transformers. So. Okay, cool. Let me take a quick spin around it. There it goes for all you guys. I know you've probably seen this before, spinning a lot of things, but man, that's a badass vehicle, you know. Any day you get driven around in something like this, you really, really can't beat that. So just check out the details. He's got the he's got the spare tire on the roof. It's got the lights across the top. Check out those wheels. The rally fighter etched into. Is this functional? It's a for cooling. It's a, it's a cooling vent. Okay, yep. so it's actually functional. Yeah. And then when I was, uh, do you know where the mirrors came from? The mirrors came from a, uh, a Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger mirrors. I know they looked a little bit familiar. Civic headlights. Yes. Uh, All right, civic taillights. Yeah, civic taillights. And then the Jeep this, headlights. So this was like crowd built, right? It's a crowd source vehicle. Uh, it is. Uh, it was built and designed on the internet. They had a competition for the exterior and the interior, and they collaborated and put it together and then made it happen. Yeah. All right. So we're we're about to go. I'm going to give you guys more details. Let's get in here. We'll talk about this more, but right now, we're gonna get in and go for a ride. Oh, it's locked. What? Open up, open up Jesse James. Let me in. Okay, there we go. Check out the interior here. We gotta follow someone, so. Gotta get on the road. Right now, we're, uh, we're following behind Sherry from Big Daddy Gun, so we don't want her to lose us. I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she's gonna lose us in this thing. She's driving the Big Daddy Guns truck right there. Let me see her. Can you guys even see that? This thing has some pickup. You can tell Jesse. Is this your daily driver? This is my daily driver. Yeah. This. So. I have a Prius too, but uh, yeah, right. It's all tacked out. Yeah, <laughs> I will never believe that. <laughs> <laughs> My wife wants me to get a Tesla. Oh, uh, that you know, I can kind of live with that. I, I can kind of live, live with that. that. I just can't take a Tesla off road, man. Yeah. Um, at some point, they got. I think aren't they working on an off road? I think they're working on a truck. They just came out with their. Uh, their uh, transportation truck, and then they're also yeah. doing a, a like Big an SUV rig. style kind of thing. Yeah, and then they have a new uh, Roadster yep. that's coming out. Yep. So, where's the steering wheel on this from? Uh, this is from an F-150. The other, I think, the newer steering wheels, the Gen 2s, they use a custom Grant steering wheel. Yeah. So there you go. When when we're saying like this was was done by what we call like crowd crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing, you know, um, using things that already existed, and of course, custom making some things. Yeah. A whole bunch of people actually got together and designed this car. Is what makes it so unique. The big thing was the engine. They wanted to use an engine that they knew they could replace because the the main purpose, one of the big purposes, this was done was so that they could take a prepackaged street legal 50 50 state legal emissions 
uh, and take it to do the uh, the Baja 500 or the Baja 1000 and you can buy this car from the company go down you can take part in a two-week build process if you'd mm -hmm. like to you don't have to yeah uh -huh. and then you can go race it you can go have fun with it and beat the crap out of it and then uh, take it home and then drive it around town right absolutely so they uh, for the power plant they picked a LS3 Chevy Motors same package that's in the Corvette um, and then they did the same thing they have a couple different transmission options they do paddle shifters and then a couple different uh, horsepower options as yeah. far as how they do it's the power. It's like a Franken car. It is. Almost, it is. You know? yeah. It's really cool. Check out the. Uh, this is. These are your side mirrors, right there. Yeah, You've pretty got much. Two, yeah. Two cameras and side mirrors. I think we. I think we just rolled up to the. Um, to the radio station here. So. Guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna give you guys more info on this car, but we're gonna go in here and do this radio thing. You're talking to that you really like. Mm -hmm. you know, if you have a girlfriend, son, whomever mm -hmm. uh, that you wanna. Not you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I could, really I could like do wrapped up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a little more energy. You wanna run it again? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you are ready, we are rolling. Okay. At Big Daddy Guns in Gainesville, we stock the high-end manufacturers you won't find anywhere else, such as Nemo, Ritter and Stark, Benelli, and Barrett Firearms. Perfect. If you want to continue the next slide. Okay. Our team at Big Daddy Guns has the knowledge and experience to guide you through your next acquisition or custom build. And the next one? BigDaddyGuns.com. We're blowing away the competition. Wait, say that again. BigDaddyGuns.com. We're blowing away the competition. Okay. No, we're blowing the competition away. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh we're, and then just, oh, we're blowing the competition. You know, that away. one, right, right. little more smile, a little right. more energy on that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. That's what you're really punching up. We're so say this part again. Okay. BigDaddyGuns.com. We're blowing the competition away. Perfect. Tell and me if this is in the right spot. Do you like it to the side or? You're good. He wasn't popping his peas or cracking his okay. case, so it, that was good. Uh, we're going to have you do your read and we'll play it back. So I'll take a listen. So if you just run through the whole thing and again, make a mistake, just begin at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. When was the last time you went into a real gun store? Let me say that again because I normally say shop. Um, when was the last time you went into a real gun shop? Come visit our pro shop at Big Daddy Guns, conveniently located right off of I-75 and Tower Road next to Napolitano's. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6 p.m. Hey, Hank, what's cooler than Big Daddy Guns at Christmas time? Nothing right off of I-75 and Tower Road, next to Napolitano's. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6 p.m. BigDaddyGuns.com, we're blowing the competition away. Hey, Hank, what's cooler than Big Daddy Guns at Christmas time? Nothing. <laughs> Do we like it? I like it. Yeah. I, I think like it's it. pretty good. We're, like we're listening to the radio spot we just did. That's Sherry, that's Mrs. Big Daddy Guns. No, we're not in England. I know you see the underground map right there, but we're not All in right. England. We're in a ra what radio station are we in? Uh, a bunch of them, Mark Radio yeah. Group. So it's 100.5 The Buzz, Magic 101.3, I Am Country 106.9, we got the Classic Hits 100.9, Oh boy. Shepherds. <laughs> yeah. We're basically yeah, at all the radio hundred. stations. So if you're driving around Gainesville right now, you're probably listening to one of our radio stations. There you go, and this guy, that's a voice for radio right there. Kyle cool. Devlin, look him up online. Absolutely. Always gigs, you need to hire me out, I'll discuss rates. See, this this guy's a professional. <laughs> so how, what do you think about that, Sherry? Was it good? I think it's great. Awesome. It's good to be make a, a duet team. with you. Yeah, it was a duet. My yes. first duet ever. <laughs> when was the last time you went into a real gun store? At Big Daddy Guns in Gainesville, we stock the high-end manufacturers you won't find anywhere else, such as Nemo, Ritter and Stark, Benelli, and Barrett Firearms. Our team at Big Daddy Guns has the knowledge and experience to guide you through your next acquisition or custom build. Come visit our pro shop at Big Daddy Guns, conveniently located right off of I-75 and Tower Road, next to Napolitano's. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6 p.m. BigDaddyGuns.com, we're blowing the competition away. Hey, Hank, what's cooler than Big Daddy Guns at Christmas time? Nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. That's good. Let's like do the rundown and try to hit the points about this car for folks out there. Alright. Um, I know it's real popular for a lot of people. Everyone's seen it. Not necessarily everyone has it. So what is it like to be an owner of the Rally Cross? You've done it for how long now? Well, I've uh I've owned it for almost three years, a little I think longer than three years now. Okay, yeah, you can move it over here. I, I did get both of you guys in there. I did, uh, I've owned a lot of military vehicles and high maintenance requirement vehicles over the years. I think anybody that owns a Jeep or is into upgrading their 
uh, upgrading their, their, their vehicle for going off-roading, whether it be minimal or maximum. Uh, but you have to be able to work on your own car. This, this uh, facilitates that very easily. Uh, everything is very accessible and you can go to local providers that have parts, any parts store, and get about 80% of the things you need for the vehicle. Um, it's, not a, it's not a Lamborghini and it's not a BMW. It's, not, it's something you know you're driving, but at the same time you can drive over anything. So, I mean, it's a, it's a real fun car to, to be around. It gets a lot of looks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, That's what I was going to say to you. Is it still a head turner? Oh, absolutely. You can park it next to anything and yeah. kids go crazy over it. How's the look back? That's what I always say to people, which, I mean, here's the look back. So you, you know what the look back is, right? Like you get out of your car and you look back at it. Do you still feel that way? Because you've had it. Maybe people on the street, you know, they're seeing it and they're like, ooh, what's that? How's the look back for you after all this time? I think uh, I would hands down purchase it again. I, uh, I think anybody that has a business that wants to get a lot of advertisement, um, it's, it's a no-brainer. It, you can wrap it in anything, whether it be some detail or, or, or advertisement or not even an advertisement. I mean, just something on the windshield will get, get looks for the car. It's, uh, it's very, very highly visible, and it's not, uh, it's not something that, that's gonna, you know, you're not gonna get pulled over a lot for it, and if you do, it's 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 because they want to just check it out and because it's pretty cool. But uh, it's uh, it's very easy to work on, very easy to manage. Anybody that has a GM certified mechanic uh, can work on it, and the company is excellent to work with. Uh, you call their customer support or their sales department; they've been more than willing to to do anything, even before I purchased the car. So uh, they they. They've been excellent, but I've, I've seen them from the get-go until now, and uh, mo most of their sales are overseas, and they, 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 make, they produce so many of them and, and do such a high-quality uh, job doing it that it's, it's something different for somebody that really wants something different. I kind of got sick of the, you know, have this, have that. I have a very unique job where I come away and, and go. I don't have to drive to work every day. Right. So, uh, you know, it's, but it's, it's been an excellent vehicle. Awesome, so cool. Let's do a quick spin around and just tell us like the coolest things to you. Oh, so it's uh, it's light kitted out. It's got lights in the grill. It's got lights up top. Uh, these are all options from the company. They uh, they went kind of nuts with the lighting. Yeah, you can ha you can hold it and, right. and like walk around and just point out the went nuts with the lighting. Cool you got your uh, your standard Jeep headlights. So if you have an aftermarket Jeep headlight that you like, oh, so these are just regular. Yeah, they're regular Jeep headlights that you can upgrade to anything. It's very easy if you you break okay. a. What's the body? What's the body panel? The body is fiberglass. Uh, you can do it with a, a carbon fiber overlay. You can do, you can do a whole bunch of different things depending on what you want to do. I think the base now is a fiberglass. Okay. Um, a, pre, a reinforced fiberglass. Show that. Okay. Yeah, I got it. You got yeah, it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So that's the body. Um, they use method wheels. They're uh, they're they're not overly expensive. If in case you do use the car, if you damage them, they're they're easy to get and easy to find. Um, I, they offer a couple different tire packages. I, I chose to go with Nitos just because they're all terrain. They get they get really good mileage on them. Okay. Um, it's an LS3 um, Corvette engine package. They have different. They have a supercharged version. I think they might be looking into doing a turbocharged one as well. Okay. And uh, it's all Fox coilovers with remote reservoirs. So you have close to I think it's 20 inches of travel, 19 inches of travel. Okay. So yeah, let's go in there. It's very unique so you when you that. when you put it up on a on a stand. They go to rotate yeah. the tires or something, and they have to pick it up further than they've ever had to pick it up yeah. before. <laughs> so let's go back to um, and and then this is something that's like a unique feature on it, right? That yeah, they a lot design. Of, a lot of people think different things about it. I think since the engine, it is a mid-level engine car. The front end is all suspension for the travel, and uh, the engine actually starts right about at the front of the windshield here, almost mm -hmm. like in a Humvee. Okay. And for can we see? Is it tough to see the engine? No, no. We can oh, okay. Yeah, let's yeah let's ch check that out. So this provides cooling, routing around the top of the engine, so you don't get a hot spot in the rear. Okay. Of the center of the engine. Awesome. There you go. So that's what's inside the engine bay here. Here, go ahead. You can just point out right the up. different things here. Oh, okay. Here, I'll hold it open. For yeah. You. Yeah. So. They actually, the Gen 2 goes with a with a Challenger, uh, a Dodge Challenger uh, cooling package. Okay. So it's easy to get a radiator if you need to. Uh, your air cleaner, it's a pretty massive air cleaner that they put inside it. Um, 
It's a full hydraulic steering and you have AC just like you would any other car. So they do have an AC package that comes with the car stock. Um, you have a lot of space. There's a lot of space for yeah. for doing. And that's a massive hood. Yeah, it's a big, big, big hood. There's a video on the internet of this thing doing a doing an endo and turning over on itself, and the the hood pops off. But most most of these Baja cars, they have to have a a, 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 a huge front end for the suspension. Yeah. So this facilitates that. Awesome. So, so you want to shut it down? Yeah, we'll shut it down. Okay. So then what else on here, like if you go around to the back? So we got the roof rack that carries your tire. They uh, they designed the uh, they designed the interior of the trunk so that it would fit a full-size tire. Oh, okay. Let's see what kind of goodies so, I have yeah, back here. The trunk? Is the trunk like a little Civic trunk? Or? No, it's its own, it's its own, it's oh, its own body unique. style. Okay. So uh, this was their SEMA truck, so they decided to um, put a bunch of High sound sound system in it yeah. and everything. I that yeah. was how often do you you probably use every it every day? Right? Yeah. Every yeah. day. Sounds good, I'm sure. And then you mentioned that this was in Transformer, so that's yep. where the little yep. so they I've got rear view cameras and uh, that's that's one of the things about the car that I would say if I had to say anything. Uh, it does have a couple little blind spots. Mm -hmm. uh, but you get little cameras now, you have camera technology. Yeah. You so can, there so like there's in the in the rear view is one of the cameras. Yeah, so you got cameras yeah. in the rear views but you still have a rear view yep. uh, yeah. everything is managed by an iPad so I have uh, I have engine management on there that gets input into there uh, this is the gen 1 design of the interior the gen 2 is a little more uh, modern looking I kind of like this this look it looks a little more aggressive they use uh, what else they got in here the shifters down here they did a really good job with the interior on this car. You got a back seat, but it's so kind of. So what are the seats? What are the seats out of? I think they're. Uh... Man, what the? There's two companies that make Jeep seats, and I'm trying to oh, think of oh, what, that's it is. what it is. And then the body is all aluminum. I think. We no, said. no, no, the body. Okay. So one of the cool things about the car is, is you, you can have it wrapped. Okay. You can have it wrapped any way you want. They went with like a, a Kevlar style wrap with this one. Oh, okay. Um, but you can. They they do a one color or a two color base wrap. And then if you want to pay a little more, you can you can get it wrapped in anything you want. So uh, it has a back seat. They're kind of you know they're better for holding stuff than they are. Yeah, let's people. take a look at that real quick. Back seat. So just flip it up. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's all you got. Storage. It's, yeah, you got storage yeah, room. Someone could get back there if they really had to. Yep. Had to do like you have a 13 and a half gallon uh, fuel tank that comes out of a BMW uh, M3. Okay. And the rear end they changed in the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. The Gen 1 uses a 8.8 .8 Ford rear and a triangulated, uh, triangulated rear, which is more common to Baja trucks. And then they found that they went to a four link with a Ford 9 inch, which is uh, a little easier to, uh, to take care of change outs yeah, and stuff. See the dual exhaust. Yep, dual here. exhaust. All right, so any like final thoughts on this, man? It's awesome. It is it's awesome. Just, it's just it's different and yeah. it's awesome. If you're looking yeah. for, I think if you're looking for something that not a lot of people have and and it's you have the time to put, invest in it. Yeah. I think it's a I think it's an excellent option. Also okay. for businesses, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And you would totally do it again? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, I would I would actually buy. If, once I sell this one, I'm probably gonna do another one. You know, just, yeah. Get it. My wife won't updated. like it that much, yeah. but I'm definitely gonna do it. <laughs> just get it a, just a little bit of updates. You know, get a little bit more technology yeah. in there. Thanks for sharing yeah, that man. with me, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. All right. We're gonna do more stuff with Jesse. We're gonna shoot more guns and do all that kind of stuff that we do. But I just wanted to share the rally fighter with you guys because we always say we're gonna do it. We even yep. shot some stuff and yep. then. We weren't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, we're here again today doing yeah. some other stuff. Just, but just an excuse to drive in it again. Yeah, yeah, That's it. it. All right, guys. Peace. Check that out. Wow. Situation. Yeah. <laughs> That's badass.